Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm your makeup enthusiast. In this video, I am bringing you um, another intro video. This is actually an intro for Project Pan that I've never done on my channel before. I did put it out to you guys in my community tab, whether you guys wanted to see deck of panning and an overwhelming response was received. I had 54 votes on this and 81% of you said that you really wanted to see deck of panning on my channel because you love watching it so much. So. Here I am appeasing the masses and I'm bringing you deck of panning. So if you do want to see this intro, then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe down below so you can watch all my future videos and keep up to date with this project pan. And without further ado, let's jump on in to the intro. So deck of panning was started by Emily from Emily and Max. She creates a spreadsheet every month and it's based off a deck of cards. You pull out five cards from your deck and that corresponds with prompts on the spreadsheet. It's updated monthly. I have watched a lot of people participate in this project pen over the years and I've always been tempted to jump in and join it because it always looks like a load of fun, but I've never actually pulled the trigger. This year I thought that I would see if it was something that you guys wanted to see and obviously as I've previously stated, it's something that you definitely want to see. So I am bringing you a deck of panning. I'm starting late. Generally it is updated on the 20th of every month. I am behind. I am not keeping up to date at the moment with any of my intros. It has been a bit hectic around here of late, but I'm trying to catch up with my intros and I'm trying to, you know, I'm hopeful that by like the second, like the first or second update of these projects, I'll be like back up to date, fingers crossed, with when I'm supposed to be uh, like filming and bringing you the updates, if that makes sense. So I also... <laughs> And behind because I did something really stupid. I, I did probably one of the biggest fails that you could possibly do as a YouTuber. Um, I had a little mishap with my microphone. The battery went dead. So when I originally filmed this intro, I also filmed, I think, three videos at the same time. I tried to batch film because I work full time. So I film when I can. And I went to edit them this past week and almost cried because... All of the footage was mute because my microphone was not working. So here I am filming the intro again with you. That is to say that it's not going to be random today with my draw. I'm going to show you the cards that I drew previously and the, the products that I've already picked out because I've already started working on those products thinking that I successfully filmed an intro video when I actually didn't. I have my five cards here that I previously picked. I have my products in front of me that I've already you know, picked out to correspond with these prompts. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly roll through it. This intro will probably be a lot quicker than you know some other intros that I've done in the past. So I did pick, hit, let's go through. So we had the six of diamonds, we had the nine of hearts, the 10 of hearts, the six of hearts, and last but not least, the Jack of Hearts. This deck I don't think has ever been used before, so my shuffle wasn't very good as you can see by the large amount of hearts that I drew, but I, I'm working with it. All of the prompts are different anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. We'll start off with the Six of Diamonds. The prompt for this is Chopping Block. Now for this item, I decided to grab for this little product here, which I have had in my collection for many number of years and I have barely used it. It is the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelé in Poppy Paradise. Um, these were like really popular back in the day when Josie Moran was kind of up and coming and a lot of their products were becoming quite popular. Uh, since I got this, I haven't really used it all that much, so I am going to roll this in. I think at the moment I'm going to rotate, rotate it in maybe for like 10 uses, and I'm going to give it a fair go, try and figure out if I can find a way that I like to use it, or if I don't like to use it, I might end up decluttering this. If I do find that I like it, I'm just going to put it back in my collection and continue on like panning it, and maybe rotate it into partners in cream or something like that and we can see if maybe we might be able to get this used up at some point. I will do a little swatch because it's such a like shallow like little sample size. I don't want to get my my nails in it. It is quite I don't know like 
glossy, creamy almost because it is that jelly formula. These kind of have been, these formulas, I guess you can say, have kind of been repopularized of late because I think it's Milk has come out with like jelly blush sticks. It's a very similar concept. It's just in a pot formula. So I will give this one a little play. As I said, I'm going to aim for 10 uses and we will decide whether it's something that I want to keep in my collection or not or chop it. Next up, we have the Nine of Hearts. For this one, the prompt is a warm toned product. For that one, I grabbed out my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Pumpkin Spice. I am going to rotate this one in for 10 uses. Hopefully I can get those ones done quickly. I don't know. I do really like this color and this formula. I just sometimes find when it comes to lip products, just find it hard to find the motivation to grab for a variety of lip products. I like to really focus in on one, but this year I really wanna try and aim for using more of my collection. So I'm going to probably be setting a lot of usage goals on products in my project pans this year. So I'm going to rotate this one in for 10 uses as well. That was for the nine of hearts. Then the next one was the 10 of hearts. For this one, the prompt is seasonal. For the seasonal product, I actually grabbed a really left of field option, a little curveball. I am rotating in the Isle of Paradise Light Self Tanning Water. This is a product on my list of products that I want to use up and finish in this year. It is sitting about halfway, as you can see there, and I figure it's currently summer here in Australia. Um, so my season is summer. Everyone loves to have a nice, beautiful tan in summer. So I thought that I would rotate this one in. I have only used this like a handful of times. I want to say maybe like three to four, maybe maximum five times or five uses for a whole body tan. And I've used like half of it. So I don't think it would take me long to get this one completely finished if I did use it regularly. I stopped using this one like more regularly because I was getting laser hair removal and I've actually like come to the end of like the amount of uses or the amount of um what's the word the amount of visits that I needed for my legs my legs were already kind of really sparse when it comes to the amount of hair that I had on them but ever since getting the laser it's been like non-existent so I am at the point now where I think I could probably get away with using this more regularly on my legs especially, but also the rest of my body. So hopefully I can get this one done and finished up. I'm hoping before winter, um, that's like, you know, four, four-ish months. I think that I could probably get that one done before the end of winter. The Six of Hearts, which was the oldest product. Now I did have trouble because I have such a large collection. I had a, a, no end of trouble trying to figure out what the oldest product was in my collection. So I opted to go for the oldest product in a certain category from a certain brand. So I opted to grab through and go through my MAC lipsticks and I grabbed out my oldest MAC lipstick, which is the Cream Sheen lipstick in Sunny Soleil. This was like the first ever MAC lipstick that I decided to pick up. And I am going to grab for this one or I'm gonna rotate this one also in for 10 uses. And I think given that I've got that liquid lipstick in here as well, 10 uses is, is more of a reasonable number to try and aim for. And that way, again, I'll be able to rotate through the prompts a lot more and a lot quicker if I am reducing the number of uses that I normally would do. Normally, sometimes I like throw in like a 50 use goal, stuff like that. But I think this year in terms of usage goals, I'm going to lower it quite a lot just to help me rotate through a lot more of my collection. This is how much is left of this one. So 10 uses is definitely not by any means going to get me to have this one finished. But 10 uses might at least help me decide whether it's reignited a love for this little lipstick or decide whether maybe it's something that I want to think about decluttering or declutter. So 10 uses, I think that's a good number to make that decision. And last but not least was the Jack of Hearts. Now for the Jack of Hearts, it was a cream or liquid product. Again, for this section, I opted for something a little bit different just to try and keep the variety because I am doing so many project pans this year. I wanna try and 
avoid having too many double ups or clashes of products in categories. So I've decided to grab out this little cream here. This is the Neostrata Resurface Lotion. This is a glycolic renewal smoothing lotion. So it has a 10% AHA in it. I think that this one will really help me with any kind of bumps or anything that I'm getting like on the back of my legs or arms, anything like that, or just overall help with the texture of skin of my skin in certain trouble areas on my body, even like the back of my shoulders, if I'm ever getting like any like back knee or anything like that, I think this one will really help. This one has not been touched much by me, so it is fairly full. I'm gonna go through and like mark with some nail polish um, on at least both of these products. I think that's probably the only two that I'll be able to mark in terms of level. Um, but I will mark them because for both of these ones, I want to get them completely used up. So these two will definitely be in this project for a number of months. How many that is, I'm not quite sure, but they will be in for probably four or five months, I'm guessing, with those two. So we'll keep you posted on those ones. These ones have those usage goals of 10 uses each, so I'm hopeful that at least maybe one or two, if not all three of these will be rotated out by the next update. I'm very hopeful of that. And I do, because this one updates on the 20th, I've got like 20, 20-ish 20 days left till this one updates next. I'm filming this on the 3rd of February, so I've got 17 more days to get some more uses out of those three products. So that's my intro for deck of panning. Let me know down in the comments if you are participating in this project. I would love to know. Good luck on any of the products that you are trying to pan this year. I am hopeful that you can pan as many products as your little heart desires this year. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to keep up to date on all my project pans. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.